Hi all, it's uh, day nine of this uh, coronavirus um, lockdown here in Madrid. Where are we with figures? Um, we're hitting the 28,600 mark. Uh, that's 3,600 more than yesterday. And in deaths, uh, 1,720, which is 400 more than yesterday. The government's come out today and um, they've extended the, the um, lockdown period another 15 days. Okay, and they've also banned, there's a complete travel ban. Okay, so no one can enter or leave the country unless you're a, you're a Spaniard or you're a Spanish resident. All right, and also one of the uh, things that they're looking at working on as well is um, in regards to the risk age. Okay, they're looking to see if they can um, organize home delivery for those people of the basic needs, food, um, medicine, etc., etc. I just came off a, uh, an interview with an Australian radio station and uh, it was quite interesting because I was listening before the show, there's a lot of people coming in with a lot of questions um, and seemed a bit, let's say, lost, uninformed, over confused. Okay? Um, and the host was trying to answer the questions as best as he could. Um, so I'm just going to go through a few points to see if I can sort of um, help you guys out on how it's been done in Madrid. Don't forget, or in Spain in general, don't forget that we are about five or seven days ahead. Okay, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will put the same um, steps in, okay, but at least it sort of gives you an indication on where you're going to go. <clears throat> Radio, in regards to uh, hygiene, okay, it's very important. Wash your hands no matter what, okay, as soon as you leave the house, um, wash your hands. If you touch something, wash your hands. Uh, if you go to the shops and you touch some fruit, you know, um, don't put it next to your face or next to your mouth, all right, because you inhale uh, the germ and that's where the danger is. Um, in regards to kids at school, okay, this is really, really important, okay, because I can see, you know, you're at the same stage that we were five, seven days ago when, when um, they closed the schools down, okay, our families were still going to the park um, and the kids were playing with their friends uh, in the park and things like that. And they said, no, 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 this is not a school holiday, it's not a picnic, it's not a, a gathering or whatever. Kids cannot play with other kids, okay? It's hard to sort of comprehend, but no. Don't go to a park, don't let your kids play with other kids, don't invite other kids to your house, okay? Because they are the ones, they are one of the, uh, let's say, I won't say the main carriers, okay? But obviously they're... Um, they're not aware of the situation, okay? So, you know, they'll touch things, they'll touch their faces more, they'll touch their mouth, they'll put things into their mouth accidentally, okay? And then they go back to their houses and then they um, they cough, etc., etc. Their houses, the grandma's house or whoever, okay? So, what they put, the steps that they put in place was stop the kids from going to the park, stop the kids from playing with each other, keep them at home, keep them entertained at home with either the PlayStation or with the other brothers, or you play with them, okay? But don't bring kids over to play with your kids. And don't invite another family over. Everyone, stick to your own, okay? And enjoy that as well, okay? Um, what else is there? Um, All right, hospitals. Hospitals are currently at eighty percent. That's sixty percent. Okay, um, they're almost at that point of collapse. And we're starting to receive videos where uh, the people are, you know, there's beds or people even laying on the floor. Okay, but not to the Italian extent. All right, if you see videos from Italy, that's a different ball game altogether. You know, that's just uh, quite amazing. We haven't got to that stage yet. Okay, we have a shortage of ventilators and respirators and masks. Same as probably any other country, okay? Don't be surprised if you're, you get short on all of those as well, okay? It's, um, as I said, I warned the other day, you know, people, are, uh, the doctors and the nurses are compl always consistently changing um, vests, the uh, changing vests, the changing uh, the masks, etc., etc., because they've got to go out and um, treat other patients as well, okay? So they can't carry the virus over, okay? So you'll start to hear complaints. Um, as I said, the Spanish government is trying to look for ways to sort of ship 
uh, mask and vest from uh, from China from other countries or even the same uh, companies in Spain uh, are trying to manufacture them as well. Because there's complete lockdown in Spain, the Spanish government has, uh, let's say, the central government is in complete control of everything. Okay, so if they um, identify that there is a, uh, a factory that is manufacturing, they will go in there and confiscate uh, anything, or even they've got it stored, okay, they will confiscate it, they'll raid the place and they'll confiscate any material, okay, then bring it in and then try to um, deliver it out to the different hospitals or the different areas that need it. Uh, what else is there? Um, you know, the, we're, exp uh, we're being warned that the next, this, this next week, okay, um, we're just going to go even higher in numbers. Okay, in regards to the um, to the infected, obviously it's it's nice to sort of have an indication of where the, where we are on that. Okay, but it's actually let's say it's blue sky. Um, don't forget that there's people that may be infected but aren't going to the hospital to get treated. Okay, so that's a, a pretty much that's a an estimated number, but it could even be triple. You know, with the population and things like that. So I really keep an eye on the uh, on the deaths. Obviously, that's uh, that's that's most important for me. Um, but anyway, they're expecting this week to be a complete week. Two weeks of, um, of um, incubation or quarantine by the people. So you'll start to see that you see the people go to the hospitals. Okay, but this as, what I'm sort of seeing or what I've seen is it starts off really low. Like here, here are a few people confiscating, you know, 10, then 20 people confiscating, uh, sorry, confiscate infected and then 30, 40, 100, and then after a month, you'll have one death, okay? Then the numbers the numbers keep on calling up the infected, then after two weeks, 10 deaths. And that's when the government starts to sort of kick in, oh, geez, hold on, we've got to keep watch out with this, okay? So a month and a half has gone past and um, the government really hasn't done anything. When they start to kick in and put some uh, actions in place is after like about two, two, um, two months, Okay, where we've got like about a hundred deaths, okay, and about you know uh, one thousand infected, one thousand two hundred. Now it might be a plan, it might be a reason to do that. I'm not really sure. I'm not, um, uh, uh, and you know, I'm not a degree in medicine or, or whatever, you know. Um, but anyway, it's uh, it's something to look at. And so see, it's probably very similar as, as yourselves. Okay, so just watch out because now you get into that moment where they're deciding to lock down or not. Public transport, okay. Um, just to let you know, all right, there was a question in regards to public transport. In Spain, um, there is public transport on the street. If, if you've seen some of my videos, you'll see some buses come up or down, come up and down. Now, um, the, um, they're only allowed 20% capacity, meaning the bus driver or the metro driver, all right, checks to see how many people are in there, has an estimation and says, all right, next stop, um, we pick up someone or not. Okay, so it's completely in their hands. As I said, taxi drivers as well, if they pick up someone, one person, they have to sit in the back seat. Um, so that's that in regards to whatever, children. If you're, if you're gonna ask me, as again, I'll go back to the children's side, which is probably one of the things that I can probably speak about more clearly, all right, because obviously I've got kids so I've got the experience. Is would would I send them to school? Well, it depends. If you're working, um, if you live in a small apartment and you know um, there's no room and you've got two days left of school or this week or whatever, because I'll, for sure they'll do lockdown next week. Um, yeah, okay. So then if you've got room, you're working. You're you're at home. Your wife's at home. You're at home. Uh, you're working from home and whatever. I probably wouldn't. Yeah, you know, the the, um, the rumors are here that uh, we're halfway during the school school year, that the school year um, won't finish. So I don't know what we're going to do next year. Will they do um, next year's course? They pass everyone next year's course. Um, they do a bit of each. You know, try to push. You know, put everything into one year. Uh, I'm not really sure, but anyway, it's something for you guys to uh, think about. But looking at um, what they're telling us, um, I probably wouldn't send them to school. What else? Um, central government. Uh, as I said, I've seen that the states are still running independently. Uh, well, here it's all centralised for the central government. Well, we do have states here in Spain as well. Okay, but when they put down the decree that was going to be a full lockdown, 
okay, the government took full power. Okay, I suppose that's probably what's going to happen because it seems like a bit confusing. You've got one state saying this, one state saying that, and it seems like it's not centralised and uh, everyone's confused. And why is that state is locking down? Why, why are we not? Okay, but I suppose that's probably because um, your law probably won't allow it until probably lockdown um, come, kicks in place, full lockdown. Um, so that's probably about it. Like, um, there's there's been a few passing away. These, uh, you know, which sort of uh, within these uh, four, uh, 1,720, I think, uh, yesterday, the ex-president of Real Madrid, Lorenzo Sanz, who who won the um, seventh um, Champions League for Real Madrid after 30 years, uh, passed away from coronavirus. And there's rumours that um, a political, um, someone, a uh, political uh, person um, has passed away today, okay? Um, it hasn't hit the news yet. It's something that's coming uh, through the back there. But anyway, um, there's, they're the sort of rumours that are hitting us. Anyway, that's probably about it for day nine. Okay, guys, I can only sort of just um, warn you, um, you know, on what's happening here or what's happened here. I'm not sure what they'll put in place in the uh, in Australia or when they will put it in place. But that's it. Take care of your families. Stay at home. Kids, stay at home. Play by themselves. Take advantage of the backyard of the big house. Um, you know, let them play. On, you know, let them play freely. Don't invite anyone. Okay, and but take this seriously. You know, it's not a it's not a light matter. It's putting a lot of lives in risk. It's not just you, your family. It's those that are that are outside when you go and do shopping and you might cough. Okay, it's uh, the people in the hospital that can't be treated because there's one more than one or more than the capacity that the hospital can um, can take on. Okay, and it might be just because of that person who's be, who's coughed in the so- in the shopping center or whatever. Okay. So just take care of yourselves, take care of the family, and take care of that lovely country you've got there. You've got an opportunity to show the rest of the world how civilised you are, okay? Even though sometimes we may question it. My kids are watching Crocodile Dundee, and I sort of watch um, uh, how Paul Hogan behaves in that movie, and it's sort of, uh, I can sort of relate to that as well. Um, and uh, it's quite funny how inci- uncivilised we may be sometimes, okay? But it's our, our moment in Australia to rise up to the occasion and to show how civilised we really are. Take everyone. There's always a reason as well. Take care.